The third perspective is the behavioral perspective. They would say that our behavior and our mental processes are determined by our environment, the things that we have learned as a result of simply being alive. These are not anything that we've been born with, but simply things that we have been taught in our environment. The ways that our parents raised us, for example. The things that we've learned in school about how to behave in a classroom or how to get along with other people. How do teachers do that? How do your parents do that? How do your parents convince you to follow their rules? Well, they probably punish you if you don't. Am I right? Teachers, how do they get you to turn your homework in? They attach a grade to it. It has nothing to do with anything inside of you. It's simply the associations that we make between a behavior and the consequences that follow. Now understand that consequences don't always have to be negative. We can have positive consequences. If I get my assignment turned in on time, I get a good grade on it, and I'm happy. We're looking at those associations. We're looking at rewards and punishments. We do things to gain rewards and to avoid punishments. And a third way that the behaviorists believe that we acquire behaviors or that we reasons why we do things that we do are that we observe other people doing things and then we repeat their behaviors. So again, we're back to our little boy. What would the behaviorists or the behavioral perspective say is the reason why this little boy is using the force or trying to use the force around his house? My ideas, I said that it brings him a reward when he uses the force and it actually works. It makes him feel good and he gets a reward or people are impressed with him and they're really proud of him for doing whatever it is that he did. Another reason that he does it is he's seen Darth Vader do it. He has seen Darth Vader move things using the force and he is just simply repeating the behavior that he has seen.